Hello, this will be a review for the HCSB Study Bible app for the Apple iPad. I'll be using the iPad 1, um, the first iPad made. It's on the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi. Whether that's relevant to the review, I don't know. Anyways, um, here's the... This is the um, icon for the Study Bible there I got it for uh, $9.99 in the App Store you uh, click on it. tap the app there and the screen comes up looks very elegant and uh, formal okay let's take a look at the app the app basically has three panes this pane up here in the in the upper left is your Bible text um, you advance chapters by swiping to the left like this. Yeah. Let's see if I can zoom in there. I can just do that. Let's go backward in the text. By doing that, I'm going to zoom out here now. In the lower left pane, is the annotated study notes for each um, you know whatever chapter and verse you're on it, it matches then you can advance the notes by swiping left or go back by swiping to the right in the upper right pane is a place where it shows pictures charts yada 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 in the lower right pane um, there are some options for charts, illustrations, maps, photos, photos, reconstructions, and timelines. And then below that, there is an images tab, a video tab, which tells you how to use the HCSB Study Bible. The HCSB Study Bible features and a weekly book review with Beelzebub. Yeah. Um, there's a, yeah, down here there's a click, a little tap on thing where you can actually make notes. You can type in, you know, your Bible notes and save them. There is a click on thingy down here for bookmarks. Um, one that shows your history so I downloaded this yesterday, April 25th, and I can see all the different places I read in the history. Pretty useful app, pretty useful function. And then finally, there's a, a highlighter section. Um, you can choose uh, yellow, red, blue, green, or purple. It's purple. It's really purple. Purple, green, blue. Um, I haven't tried this one yet. Bible verse highlights. I guess you can do it that way. You uh, can choose the intensity of the highlight. Here. It says highlighter sample text, and then you can uh, toggle about, you know, toggle between, um, how dark or how light you want your highlights. You can choose different types of highlights to use. Underlining or whatever. I, mean, I haven't even tried the highlighting yet. Let me see if it works. Eh. I'm sure it works. I just don't know how to use it. Okay, now let's go up to the top um, menu bar here. There is a plus sign that will allow you to add a bookmark, add a note, copy a verse, and highlight a verse. Okay, we're gonna let's let's do a red highlight, and that's 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 how the highlight works apparently. Up on the top uh, menu bar, we have a grid looking thing that gives you different reading plans. Um, the one here is a three-year daily reading plan click on the next thing it looks like uh, 
a library. Let me cancel out of here. Okay, you click on this one here. Looks like a library. And it shows you the HCSB Strongs and Advanced Search and HCSB Study Bible Notes and then um, Olive Tree Strongs um, References. And to get out of there, you click uh, Cancel. Pretty, pretty good stuff there. Um, to change books, I'm in Revelation right now. To change books, just tap on the book key there. And it lists all the books from introductions to Genesis all the way down to Revelation. If I wanted to read some Job, I'd click Job. And then it opens up to which chapter in Job you want. And I'm just going to choose one. It even lets you choose which verse. Verse 1. Job 1.1. 1, 1, right there. Um, Job and his family. There's a search box here. Where you can search for things. And there's a settings icon right there. Where you can increase font change the grid of it you know, change the alignment it looks like do a few other things so that's the um, HDSB study bible it's very user friendly the font seems very readable the study notes are easy to access um, I have the strong numbers option enabled so I can click on like us right here and a window pops up showing the cross references where you know where else you can find the things like us um, what else I'm sure there's a lot more here but I'm just new to it this is a brief a brief seven minute mumbly review by me thanks for watching